Cody Ashburn and we are the Tennessee 4-H Ambassadors. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create your video for the Savor the Flavor video contest. When making your video, make sure you do some research beforehand. You can check out Food Network on Facebook to decide what type of style you are going to do for your video. Then once you've done that, make sure you check out beefitswhatsfordinner.com to choose your recipe that you're going to make your video on. Hey guys, I'm Emily Day, and if we've learned anything from those Tasty and Food Network videos, we've learned that preparation makes the best videos. So make sure that before filming, to always make sure to look for where you want to transition between each step of the recipe is where you'd like to speed up in your video, such as when you mix ingredients in a bowl. Always make sure to set out your ingredients before you start filming. It'd be awful if you had to go to the grocery store in the middle of the video. Before you start videoing, make sure to grab all of your materials, such as plates, forks, tablecloths, and anything you might need. Also, before videoing, always make sure to get your food out first. It's so much easier and makes the whole process quicker. Hello, my name is Grant Hitchcock, and natural light is the best light when it comes to shooting your food video. Make sure that you position your table next to a window where plenty of light is coming through. To prevent dark shadows, you can use a bounce board. You can use a white foam poster board that is good to bounce light or you can use a large aluminum baking sheet. And don't forget to position your tripod on the stable surface. Hi, my name is Sorrel Martin. When it comes to filming, it's best to film short little clips to put together during editing instead of one continuous recording. Film from different angles, such as a straight on shot, which is best for a final mouthwatering shot of your food. An overhead shot is a perfect angle to get a great view of your food. And most importantly, make sure your phone or camera is fully charged and has storage space. Ugh, my phone is dead. Hello, my name is Aaron Lay. In final editing of your video, go ahead and add some instrumental music in there that fits the style of your video. And at the end, add a slide with the name of your recipe and where viewers can find more information. Apps that you might want to use while editing your videos are Filmic Pro, Foodie, Snapseed, iMovie, and Video Rama. For examples of how to create your Savor the Flavor video, look at more recipe examples at the Tennessee Beef Council. But most importantly, have fun! <laughs>